Good morning. All right, it's time to play in the Link Festival, and we're playing Salaman Great. The structure deck is honestly pretty good, and the deck itself gives you a lot of space to work with. But let's get into some duels. All right, we're going first. Not too bad. Also, I couldn't think of a better name. <laughs> we already have the Sanctuary. She summon out the Foxy. Maxi, what? Why? When is it my turn? There we go. Ash Blossom. Is there something else? Effect Veiler. Damn it! Well, I still get a special summon. Using my Splash Mage here may not be the best idea. But... I need another card to get rid of Cyanet, uh, to use with Cyanet Mining. Uh, that one. Heat Soul. Give me a draw. Shit, my impermanence. I actually want that. Damn it. I'll just end there. Also, I just realized we both have the Sky Strike uh, card protectors. These are kind of cool. I wonder what other cards they do this for. Or what other archetype. Dragon Maid could be one. But what else? Oh shit! It's Sky Strikers! Give me another draw. Maybe I'll draw into a Maxi or something. Shit! There's no point throwing an Imperm on that when it has a quick attack. Hayate, however, I will. That way you don't get a direct attack and you don't get to dump a card. Shit, they had the engage! Ah, oh, damn it. A token, Zeke. Yep. Zeke, banish one. Bye bye, Heat Soul. See you on my turn. Wait, where's the Kagari? Oh, there's the Kagari. Grab engage, most probably. How many did they activate? It was one. Two. They, they forgot the team pub. <laughs> yes. And they quit! <laughs> we take those wins. Always remember the, the imperm and where it was. Shit! Wait, Cyburst Monster, this counts. Luckily, I have three of them in the deck. They have something. Phalanx. Activate the Buffalo first, and then the Phalanx, because I want the Field Spell card, and then the draws. One of these may get hit with an Ash Blossom. Oh, never mind. Twas a maxi. Parallel Exceed Dragon. Wait, does this require two fire monsters or is it... Shit! Two fire effect monsters, this is wind! Discard. Well, I don't need two, Maxi. Normally, I would go for something like Gazelle, but I wouldn't be able to summon the Gazelle. And I can't summon the Mole either. Shit. I'm gonna have to use the Spinny. Because of the Maxi, I'm actually, I'm actually gonna stop here. I could keep going, but then... I don't have a Settleman Great Spell or Trap in the grave. The only fire monster I'd be able to grab would be Buffalo, which doesn't help me out at all here. 
Special summon a Goki. Effect Veiler. I forgot how the Goki deck works. Battle phase, what? <laughs> okay. I think I shut him down. Damn it, now I have to watch out for whatever the fuck that is. Could be an imperm. Not ideal. Or is it? Hold on. I'll normal summon the ghost bell. As long as I don't get hit with an imperm, I should be fine. Update jammer. Transcode talker. Somehow this is all going through. I expected to get hit with an imperm or something by now. Access code! Holy shit! That worked! Uh, activate the update jammer first. Then access code. That way they can't activate responses or effects. Oh well, they can't respond with an effect. Let's banish the jammer. Pop that back row. Oh, it was a cold buy! What the fuck? You know, for a not really ideal starting hand, I mean, it was okay. We got something quite nice out of this. A flat out OTK. Uh, provided they don't have any kind of like hand traps that stop me from attacking. And they quit! God damn it! Let me attack you! I don't know how this is happening, but I'm winning all the coin tosses. No. Fuck! This would have been great going second. Impum pass. Seems like a viable strategy at this point. Draw your last card. Holy shit, is a Salaman great as well? Or it could be Marincess. Hold on. Or Live Twin, because they can also use Cyanide Mining. Or the Code Talker monsters, I forgot what they're called. There's a lot of cards that can use Cyanide Mining now that I think about it. It's a coded deck. What exactly are they trying to do here? They're just giving me a bunch of draws. Code Talker. That would be summon number four. End phase, they didn't even attack me. What? What? Uh, that could be the... The counter trap. I don't remember what it's called. Add one Salaman Great. Gazelle. Phalanx. Activate the Buffalo first and then the Phalanx. Oh, it was a droplet! This doesn't actually stop me from doing anything, though. Because now the buffalo effect goes off, I draw two. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> Gazelle. I need to remember not to put anything in front of this. Yes, let's go for Will of the Salaman Great. Sunlight Wolf. Activate the Spinny. They quit! God damn it! Last duel! I don't know how I keep winning the coin toss, honestly. This is, this is surprising even for me. Ooh! Can only activate one sign at mining per turn. That's a problem. Okay, the circle went through so I can activate the Cyanet Mining. I'll discard the other Cyanet Mining. Oh shit! I could have gotten Flame Buffalo, I didn't think about that. That was stupid. I'll grab the Foxy. 
Foxy hit something good. Hit a spinny or something. I guess mole would be the better option here. Bay Lynx. Gazelle hits the field. Bay Lynx gives me Sanctuary. What do I drop with the Gazelle? I have Rage. Could drop the Spinny. I'm gonna drop Roar. Sunlight Wolf. That triggers the Sunlight Wolf. Uh, what card do I want? Give me the Gazelle. Another Sunlight Wolf. And with this, I should be able to grab... No, I don't want to activate that. I want to grab it. Because if I activate that, it'll banish itself afterward. Guess the Lingariba wouldn't be a bad idea. And now I can set Rage and Roar and be done. So this is an Imperm Protection. Omni negate, double destruction on the field, bailings to protect. Not too bad. Does kind of mess with the Nibiru in my hand though. Is this Sky Striker? No, that's not Sky Striker. What was that? Imperial Bower. Raw. Discard one card, special summon one Queen's Knight from your deck, add one... what? King's Knight or Jack's Knight from your deck to your hand, then immediately after this effect resolves, you can normal summon one monster. Luckily, that doesn't work against Link monsters. I don't remember how many attack points a Jack Knight has. I think it's 1800. I could be wrong. It was 1900. Luckily, I saved the, the rage. Oh, wait, they, <laughs> they summoned it to where I'm pointing. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, let's grab back a Foxy. Thank you. Can I activate my Rage? This, this would actually be the right time for it. Yep. Destroy the King's Knight and destroy the Jack's Knight. No, my little Lingaribo is going to die. No, there's no point in using that. Okay, so they have Jokers straight back in their hand. But will they get a chance to use it? Probably not. <laughs> Sign at mining, of course. Let's use it. I don't need the Nibiru. Let's get the raw, just in case. I put that in the wrong spot like an idiot. We're supposed to go there, but oh, that's fine. Ash Blossom, Parallel Exceed. Another Gazelle. Huh. Well, I guess I'll take it. And they quit! Why? That went way better than I was expecting. This deck is pretty damn good, but also kind of obvious as to why it's good. With the structure deck, this deck is pretty cheap overall, and the core of the deck is actually pretty small. Like, if I take out all the stuff that I've added in, like the hand traps and shit. Uh, where's the Nibiru? There, the Raigeki, Feather Duster, Double Cold by, Double Impa. This is basically the main deck. And a lot of this is from the structure deck, and, and then the Parallel Exceed, it's just normal cards, you can craft those pretty easily. And even if I take out all of the other stuff, I would argue that these 20 cards are basically the core of the deck. The other Salaman cards, you basically have choice on what you want to use. You could even use like, uh, what is the card called? Lady Debug. So you have like 20 spaces to work with in this deck, which is a lot. You can load it with hand traps, which is what makes it good. And then the same goes for the extra deck. like. If you want the access code OTK part of this, it's one normal, one SR, 
add one UR. Pretty inexpensive. Even the Splash Mage is just one SR. The Link Rebo doesn't even have to be there. And the Nightmare Unicorn, that's just something I threw in because I had one. So basically, this is it. You can even throw in another Heat Leo, maybe. That comes from the Structure Deck as well, and that's basically it. So pretty inexpensive. Pretty damn powerful overall. Like, even the last duel, I managed to get, like, the perfect first turn. Anyway, if you liked, leave a like. Dislike if you didn't. The Salamans do be kind of great, though.